Alrighty, what's going on everybody? My name is Blitzwing, and of course, welcome back to LEGO Batman. On the last episode, we began The Joker's Return, the third and final chapter, or at least uh, from Batman's side of things. Let's just uh, keep it that way, and then some people know what I mean, and some people will be like, what the heck is he talking about? <laughs> so uh, stay tuned to find out what, I, what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, but of course, on the last episode, we began The Joker's Return, and today we move on to the next chapter after we saw the Joker run off uh, in a helicopter. Uh, to the carnival type area. So that's where we're headed next. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop it up in our bat wing and set off to the next direction. So of course, Joker's Home Turf was the name of the first chapter and today we move on to little fun at the big top. So let's go ahead and uh, launch our story mode. Away goes the bat wing. Looks like Robin's not going with us this time. Oh, look at that. And look who we're going to be fighting today. The one and only Joker's right-hand woman, Dr. Harleen Quinzel, was the Joker's psychiatrist, actually, at Arkham Asylum, until she fell in love with him and reinvented herself as the madcap villain Harley Quinn. She is an accomplished acrobat who will do anything to demonstrate her adoration of the Clown Prince of Crime, which is probably one of the coolest nicknames ever. Uh, of course, I'm referring to the Clown Prince of Crime, not uh, the madcap villain. I mean, that's not that cool. Now, the other thing is, she's probably one of the easiest um, kind of uh, people to discover their secret identity, because it's not very secret. I mean, look, she, her name is Harley Quinn as a villain, and her real name, full name is Harleen Quinzel. So, uh, maybe, we, maybe she should have met up with the Joker and uh, came up with a better name. But that being said, I love Harley Quinn. What a great, great invention from the animated series. Uh-oh. Looks like James Gordon has been kidnapped. Oh my. And there's a dummy. I guess uh, that's what Joker's gonna do to Mr. Gordon. Hey, we didn't even see it blow up. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. How the heck did they put up an elephant with one tiny rope? Oh god. Okay, that is pretty torturous. Start your engines! Alright, well, thank you for that commercial, Joker. He's like, hey, you should hurry up because we're gonna get started with all these things. Alrighty. But uh, we're gonna get started with bashing some stuff right off the bat. So, let's collect some of this stuff here. I'm gonna attack that little Joker box. And I actually cannot pull on this. I don't... Well, actually, I don't remember. Maybe I can, just later, actually. I do not recall at the moment. I think we might be able to, actually. I haven't played this level in a long time. This is probably the one level that I just could not recall uh, whatsoever from my first playthrough. Which could be either a good thing or a bad thing, because it could be it could mean that it's not memorable. Or it could just mean that uh, I simply forgot how cool it was. So uh, that could be really neato for both of us. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and smash and bash all these light posts out of the way. Of course, trying to get the studs out of them. That's really our main priority here. Look at that. That thing had a ton of studs in it. That's awesome. Okay, got a big box here. And it looks like I can't smash it. Oh, I just now noticed that it was shiny. Uh, so it's silver, so that obviously means we cannot uh, just destroy it regularly. We need, like, Demolition Batman. Or a vehicle to run into it. So, uh... Uh, one of the two. One of the two. I hope that made sense. Oh, look at that. I just made it up uh, thanks to that thing. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be able to do that, but I did. So, uh, I don't know. They might not be too happy with me, but I still did it. Oh, look at that. Blue studs for the win. All right, so I'm going to return because there's probably a ton of studs and a ton of other stuff that we missed. I'm going to bring myself down, beat up some of these Joker goons. Come here. I would have loved to see, like, Harley Quinn goons, actually. Uh, that being said, guys, of course, I always ask you a cool little question or something uh, uh, to get a discussion going, such as, for example, which is your favorite Robin costume, things... Whoa, did you see how many studs there were in there? Whoa, that was awesome. Uh, but today, this time around, I would like to ask you guys, who is your favorite female comic book character? So this could be Batgirl, Harley Quinn. It doesn't mean if it... It, it doesn't matter whether it's a... Um, uh, good a good girl or a bad... Okay, that sounds weird. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's like a villain or a hero uh, or a heroine. Oh, no, goodness gracious. How do you say a female hero? A heroine, no? It sounds like I'm saying the drug, but I don't. <laughs> I don't want to say at least the name of the drug. Um, so, uh, 
yeah, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys uh, feel about that and think about it. Uh, for me personally, if I had to pick, um, I would probably lean heavily towards uh, Harley Quinn, actually. Uh, but uh, I also very much uh, like uh, Batgirl. Uh, I think she's terrific, especially when she's written by Gail Simone. Um, I don't know. Who else do I really like? Um... I mean, th that's the thing, like, I'm picking characters that are obviously uh, much more kind of, like, not just your typical shallow, like, wear your bra out type super uh, superhero, you know what I mean? Like, an actual uh, female who has a purpose to existing and not just uh, uh, dressing a certain way. So, uh, that's why I would probably pick, uh, probably Batgirl, uh, because Harley is much more towards the idea of kind of dressing a certain way. But that being said, I think that Harley Quinn is a... Uh, is a very, very interesting character, and she adds, like, a whole new depth to the Joker. So that's uh, always been cool. And I always loved how just she's so, like, uh, she's literally just so in love with the Joker that she will literally forgive him anything. He could be, like, the rudest jerk to her ever, like, the worst possible person ever, and she will still forgive him uh, at the end of the day. So I always found that to be... Uh, pretty an interesting dynamic between those two for sure But that being said I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below because that's how we will get to find out more about each other Which is a uh, very cool and of course you also get to share uh, your thoughts with the community and discuss stuff And you know just I always find that to be fun uh, when people get to share their opinions And uh, that's why I try to drive that heavily on my channel so that uh, it's not always just me and uh the other reason is because, you know, I mean, like, the name of what we're doing here is obviously Let's Playing or Walkthrough, whatever, but I like to refer to it as Let's Playing, and it doesn't say, it's not I'm playing, it's Let's Playing, so uh, I, I want to get you guys involved in the process of Let's Playing, so uh, a great way to get you involved is, because I can't have uh, all 50,000 of you here sitting in my room, because we would probably be squished, uh, even though my room isn't tiny, uh, we would not have enough room for 50,000 people. So, uh, that being said, uh, that's a great the, a great compromise to uh, to that is the fact that you guys get to uh, share your thoughts in the comment section below on different topics and on different subject matters. Uh, so I always always like to promote that indeed. All right, so let me see. Before we head towards that, whoa, what was that? Did you see that? It almost seemed like the screen kind of was like washed out or something. That was a little bizarre. Okay, let me pick up some more studs here. We're doing well, but it seems like there's a lot of studs to collect on this level, because if you think about it, I mean, we've been collecting studs for quite a while now, and look, we're not even halfway. So, it's definitely, this is probably definitely uh, one of the longer levels. That's at least the feeling I'm getting from it right now, so I could be incorrect about that, but it feels like I might be correct. So, let's head on over here and see what we've got in this area, shall we? Alrighty. So, once we access this point, looks like there's a bunch of barrels around us, which of course means studs galore! And I love studs. I love me some delicious studs at the opening of the day. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize. I was like trying to punch this. I'm like, why can't I destroy this box? What was that? Did you guys just see that glitch? There's like a head or something that flew across the screen. Or is that just me? I could have sworn I just saw a head fly across the screen. That was very, very bizarre. Very bizarre indeed. Alright, I'm not going to bother with that uh, light uh, lamppost because it, it won't produce enough studs uh, as much as this stuff will. So I'm just going to stick to collecting this for now. Uh, let's see, what is this little uh, alien computational device? So again, I'm going uh, on this level just kind of going off of... Uh, uh, as I'm playing, I'm just kind of figuring things out because I genuinely do not recall a lot. All I know is that at the end of the level, I remember that you get to battle, I think, both Joker and Harley Quinn. Spoiler alert! Uh, so that's all I know, and... Uh, Again, I could even be incorrect about that. That could have been the last level. Uh, so, we'll see, I guess. We'll find out together, won't we? Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, bat fist. Bat punches. Bat kicks. Or butt kicks. There we go. <laughs> I love that final kick. That was insane. We sent him so far away. Okay, so, uh, am I supposed to swim here or no? Okay, well, maybe I'm not supposed to, but I am swimming. Nonetheless, okay. So I'm just checking, maybe there's something that I missed, uh, or maybe there is something that we uh, uh, almost missed, you know what I mean? Just checking things out. Wow. Okay, how far can I swim? Can I just skip the whole level like this? That's a little ridiculous, don't you think? Alright, so let's uh, swim on back. And it looks like there's something to assemble over there, so definitely going to need to do that. But before we do that, we need to get the heck out of the water. And to do that, we need to grab onto this post and climb on out. 
And let's go ahead and smash this trash can, which probably has the last pieces. Indeed it does. Okay, setting up this little, cr uh, not crane uh, system, but just a little mechanism to turn things around. And look at this, we've got ourselves another bat suit swap towards our glass shattering Batman, because he's glass shatteringly awesome. That's why. That was cheesy. Okay, so let's smash this glass. Indeed. I wonder if I blast them with this, would that? Whoa, they don't even respond. Really, guys? You don't even respond. Like, you could have at least like, covered your ears or pretended like it hurts. I can smash glass with this, but I can't do anything to you. Really? I mean, how how is that fair? You know? It isn't. That's the problem. So, let me... Whoops. Okay. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and assemble this right here. What looks to be like a suit swapper for Mr. Robin. And there are a couple almost like ATM looking machines. And look at that. Now we're already at halfway. So, that was pretty... Actually, pretty quickly. Uh, when I said we weren't going quickly, now all of a sudden we are uh, um, getting pretty close to a, a full rank, which is pretty awesome. So, gonna grab a couple more studs here and smash that glass. Grab another stud there. Alright, Robin, get your magnet suit on. Like a boss. And uh, let's head off this towards this way, I guess. I could smash that, but I cannot actually jump that high, unfortunately. Oh, maybe I could do it with Batman. Let's see. Come on, Batsy. Come on. Batsy. Uh, no. No. Get up there, Batman. Batman, I'm talking to you. Okay. It looks like Robin actually had a little bit more success. What the? How did I just do it before? Oh, wow. How am I? Uh, so close. Let's try that again. One more try. If it doesn't work, then we'll obviously come back around in free play and use Catwoman or someone who has a high jump. I think... Uh, no, no, Scarecrow doesn't. I, I thought Scarecrow did, but someone else does. There's a couple of characters, obviously, that can do it. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna do backflips. <laughs> okay, so let's head off. Uh, up, up, and away. Uh, to the next area we go. And I think this is where we are gonna need to uh, summon this magnetic wall for Robin. Which he's gonna then scale. But first, looks like we gotta beat up some clowns. Hey, what the? I already punched you. You're supposed to stay down once I punch you. I'm Batman. Alrighty. Couple extra studs there. Hey, come here, jerk. Stop shooting me while I'm punching Robin. <laughs> I'll punch you after I punch Robin. Alrighty. So let's get on up there. And I think that's probably a hook, right? For Batman. Cool. Well, Batman and Robin, actually, because we're both going to need to go there. Okay, terrific. So let's get on up there. Looks like some sort of teacup ceremony. Even though this is just a carnival. By the way, I never understood. How does... Like, do you guys ever have a, an abandoned carnival? Because there are so many movies that show this. And then, of course, the Joker and stuff like that. But I've never actually seen one in real life. Because like, to me, it's like... Why would, you, why would they just leave all these, like, electronics and things like that all just here? You know what I mean? Or do... Is it like when they leave it, they just shut everything down? Or how does it work? I'd really love to know. That would be really an interesting kind of thing to discover and understand. Uh, how the heck do you abandon an amusement park? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I've never seen one, so that's why I can't speak to it. It almost feels like it's, it's not real, but it's obviously real. Whoa, look at that. There's like a little shell there that you can walk through. That's pretty interesting. They should have hid something there. That would have been a great idea. I don't know why they didn't do that. I'm gonna smash this crate and smash his face. Oh, sorry, Robin. I was talking to the bad guy, but then you walked into my punch, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. Except I didn't really say that. Haha. -ha, because Batman never apologizes. Okay, so... Uh, let's go ahead and grab some extra studies. Come on. Alrighty. Nice. So, actually, now that I think about it... Am I s yeah. Now... Now I realize that I could smash those. With my bat disturber thing. Disturber thing? Did I really just call it a disturber thing? That's not even a word. Okay, so something tells me this is going to be the suction, uh, the vacuum sucking Robin. The one that could suck up all these different pieces that are hanging out all over the place. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and assemble the suit swap a point. Upon which then Robin can hoppity hop 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 and away. There we go. Indeed. I love how we literally used the magnet suit for like one second. We didn't even use it for a lot of things. Just one split moment and that is all. 
That's all it was applied for. Okay, so... I remember there was a little rope to assemble here, a tight rope, so now we could actually have a bit of a shortcut, not having to use the grappling hook, which is pretty neato. Gonna grab a couple more studs here, and a couple more over here. Getting very, very close to our full ranking, which is terrific. Oh my! That's not terrific, though. We're getting shot at. Come here, jerks. Let's fight. I'm gonna kick you with my vacuum cleaner. How? What? You're gonna kick him with a... Ah, oh, Blitzwanger. You gotta think before you say these things. How do you kick someone with a vacuum cleaner? I don't even know how you do that. Whoa, look at that! I do know that that was flipping awesome. That's a great spot to get a bunch of studs, guys. And girls, definitely pick that up. That is awesome. That was amazing. We got so many studs there. Okay, come on, Batsy. It's a window in front of you. By the way, why the heck do we have to use a special gun? Why not just punch through it or battering? I mean, for God's sake, we're Batman. We're not just like some regular dude or something. I mean, how many times does Batman break through glass? Why the heck would we want to be using a special gun? Now that I think about it. Should have thought about that earlier, actually. Okay. I want to break all the glass now. Why? Because it's fun. For some reason. Come here! Alright, looks like Robin's gonna need help, so... I'm just gonna beat these guys down real quick. And then go ahead and vacuum... All these bits and pieces up. There's a ton of them in here, so... Definitely take advantage of that. Come on. Come on, Robin. I see more on the floor there. It's kind of hard to see at this angle, but I know that there's also quite a bit on this side, so might as well suck those up as well. You never know if they're going to come in handy later on, because, of course, if, if they put more than uh, 25, that means that there's either another application for it, or there's a reason why there are more than... Uh, but more than you need for the basic thing, of course, right? So, I mean, it's just kind of logical thinking, in my opinion. Okay, so, uh, I think there was a couple more over here, right? Or, there were a couple more over here. So, we're at 40 now. Ooh, blue stud. I almost missed that. If I didn't walk back, you see, that's what happens. If you don't uh, go looking around, you miss out on stuff like that. And two additional blue studs, which are going to be very handy, especially early on in the game. Should have checked the teacups, actually. Uh, maybe there's something in them. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm incorrect. I guess I was. Kind of sucks that I was. I wish I was, uh, I wish there would have been something there. Oh, yeah. Let's smash down those flags, because flags don't belong in an amusement park. Even though they technically do, but I'm gonna smash them, because flags. Yeah. Okay, come on, Robin. Stop showing off. Go. Go, 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 go. We gotta load up all those tidbits before everybody on YouTube says, Blitzwinger, stop wasting time and having fun in video games. You must only play seriously. And I'll be like, I'm sorry, please. Do not hate me. All right, double punch, bam. Double punch, kick, combo, boom. Oh, another bit. Another bit, another tidbit. I saw studs there. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. What is this, by the way? Is this like a peeling pear? Or what is that? Is that a light bulb? I don't know. Very bizarre looking device or thing in Madu. Um, let's see. So if I... Slide, or no, walk down this thing. Uh, were there a couple of uh, of blocks here, or did I imagine that? All right, wait, Robin, where are you going, dude? I'm gonna need your help too, dude. I need you to vacuum some pieces up, if there are any here, of course. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. So now we can get that damn. Uh, mini kit component. You don't even need to jump for it. Booyah! Awesome! Terrific! We got 1 out of 10! How exciting! <laughs> Most people are like, what the heck? You only got 1 out of 10? That's pretty lame, dude. Alright, I can't really see if there are more pieces there, but I'll try to vacuum. Just for the sake of trying. Okay, so I think now we can progress. I guess we don't have enough for another 25. Which is unfortunate, honestly. Hey, what the? Why can't I make it over? There we go. That was weird. I got nervous for a second. I was like, can Robin not make it over? That's bizarre. Okay, so let's head on up here. To the... What? Ro Robin, that's not how you climb a ladder. Robin, for God's sake. Do we really need to go over this again for the one billionth time? How many times can I explain to you how to climb a flipping ladder? Really? I mean, Robin. Genuinely, dude. 
You gotta work on that. Oh yeah, look at that, Batman! Do 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 bat glide. Oh my God, there's a giant bat signal just hit me in the face. Okay, so can I smash this? I cannot. Can I punch it? Yes, I can. Of course, smashing doesn't work, but punching works very very well. Can I smash the glass? Uh, the oh, that's probably not glass actually. That looks more like ice or something like that. Okay, so got a couple extra studs there, and now we walk through this passage. And walk on out over here, to be only to be greeted by a bunch of purple dudes. I feel like I'm in Barney the Dinosaur's world or something like that. Where he dressed up as Joker goons, which makes not a lot of sense, but nonetheless, just go with it. Okay, gonna smash and bash all this stuff. And smash and bash this, because there's a lot of... Uh, blue studs inside. I know we've already reached the superhero ranking. There's just too much good stuff to uh, give up on. All right, battering up there and get on up. Perfect. All righty, look at that. We're at almost 100,000 studs. That is so awesome. That might be the like one of the highest scores we've ever gotten on a single level so far. So that's great. We got a bunch of tiny little cute boats, and uh, they don't look very cute in that water though. Because they look like they're going to poison you just by looking at them. Alrighty. Look at them using their little balloon candy pops. Okay. Get out of there. Whoa, okay. How many of you are there? Where the heck did you come from? Alright. Time to assemble another one of these lever systems. Hey. I was building something. You don't just walk in the way. That's just rude, dude. Okay. What do we got over here? Why do they want you to jump in the water here? Usually when they want you to do that, there's a purpose to it. Meaning... There's something you can get out of the water. In this case, though, it seems like there isn't anything in the water. Which is a little unfortunate. Okay, so that's about as far as you can go. Uh, maybe if you have, like, a, a the diving suit, uh, Robin, you could actually dive further. So maybe that's what, what it is. All right, time to do some uh, unlocking on the gates here. There we go. Okay, terrific. So here we are. I believe that this is where the boss fight will take place. And indeed, here are our bosses. Awaiting. Ooh. <laughs> How did he get lipstick? Like, from one kiss, he's got, like, four uh, lip signs. I don't know. Maybe Harley Quinn has eight lips. We just don't see it ever. Or maybe she can kiss with her, with her eyes. Maybe she has uh, lipstick on her eyes. And then that's two. And then... Well, actually, that's two. Then with the lips, that's three. And then the nose. I guess she has lipstick on her nose as well. And that causes four entire different kisses. Look at that. Boom. Speaking of entirely different kisses, I cannot segue with that, because it's not going to make any sense. Okay, so let's just uh, continue and pretend like I didn't even try to segue there, shall we? Alright, time to attack Mrs. Quinzel. I'm going to hit her with a batarang. Okay, yeah, I remember this. She keeps running away from you. It, it doesn't, she? Okay, Robin, can we not jump onto this platform? Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. What was it? Why do I not recall now? Maybe I'm supposed to just blast her. Blast her ears. Come on. Come on. She just keeps jumping. Look at her. Yes. I got one punch in. Success. I don't even know how I did it. But I got one punch in. Come on, Batsy. Batman, jump! I'm pressing the A button to jump, and he's just like, what? He's like, oh, I'm trying to walk into a wall. Can't you see? Why are you asking me to jump? That's too much work for me. Okay, come on. There we go. Booyah! That's another punch for the win. Uh-oh. Got some of these Joker boxes to deal with. There we go. Brought those down. And it looks like Harley's attacking again. I love how Joker's just laughing up there. <laughs> he's like, oh, this is so funny. Harley's getting a headache. And Batman's getting tired. <laughs> so funny. Uh-oh. Away she goes. Oh my goodness. Are you flipping kidding me? Come on. What? Why can I not recall what to do? Gotta get her tired. Gotta get her tired. Gotta get her tired. Come on. Get tired. Boom! Punch to the face! Even though I don't support uh, uh, beating up females, but uh, she started it. I mean, she joined the 
an evil, crazy clown prince of crime. It's not my fault. She did it. She did it. I feel like I'm having a kid's argument. Like, he did it. No, she did it. No, I did it. No, nobody did it. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of did it, we've got a bunch of diddle-looking dudes. Did you see that? That was a pretty good segue, huh? huh? Not really? Okay, high five. Okay, time to beat up some more minions. Come here, jerks. All right. What the heck? That guy pretended to be down, and then he got back up. All righty. Here comes back. Uh, the queen comes back. Now she's going to do her acrobatic moves. I'm just going to chase her, chase her, chase her. Chase her down. And then carry on once again. Not even allowing her to shoot us once. And now hopefully she'll get a headache. Well, she's going to do it twice now because, of course, she's got her last two hearts. And this time she's going to get all dizzy. And then we are going to get our bat punch in. And, of course, now rinse and repeat the same process once again. So just chase. She dodges twice. And then you just punch her. And that shall be it, I think. Unless if something crazy goes and happens and there's a glitch and all of a sudden Bane appears and he breaks her back and then he's like... Bane break Batman and he walks away and the cards set on fire and stuff happens boom oh wow not only did I punch her I kicked her as well hey Gordon are you okay dude what happened did you dislocate your hips or are you just tired from all that flipping oh look at Robin oh yeah bring it on Harley oh never mind go away I don't want it Hey, Robin, she's going to play whack-a-mole with you. All right, you can do a lot of jokes there, but I'm just going to let that one be. I'm just going to let it sink, and I'm going to allow you guys to do the joke. Oh, my God, she's got a crocodile. What the heck? Look how, how awesome is Batman. He's just like, bam, batarang for the win. Crocodile on top. Victory. Batarang cut. All right, Gordon. There's Joker. i got to go get him. Oh my. Whoa. Watch out. We're getting shot at by what looks like mini baby carrots. Those bullets look like carrots, I swear. But there you have it. We concluded another episode of, of course, Lego Batman level complete and free plan lock, meaning we can now come back around and unlock all those cool collectibles like mini kits as well as the red power brick within the level. Of course, we got our superhero ranking because we are superheroes. And it's not just me, it's you guys too. Another piece added to our hero super kit. And of course, uh, our stud total grows by nearly 100,000, getting us oh so ever closer to the 1 million studs. I put the little pinky next to my mouth. Some people will get that uh, reference. And uh, there you have it. That, uh, of course, concludes another episode. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and give it a like right below the video. Of course, subscribe to not miss out on all the other cool content that goes up on the Blitzwinger channel. Share the video with your family and friends and favorite the videos. Those are all terrific ways to show support for the series. Alrighty, guys, I hope you guys have a fanful, fantastic day, night, whenever you're watching this. Evening, mid-afternoon, brunch. Well, now I'm just starting to me uh, like name meals and stuff like that. But nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll catch you guys next time as we continue to take on the Joker's Revenge. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you later.